I first met John about 12 years ago when I, first, when I received the World Food Prize. And he, I have since worked with him in various capacities, but more as it relates to the work of the World Food Prize Foundation. John has been very kind to me over the years and I've been greatly impressed by his personal, by his uh, humility in, in dealing with people. I can now begin to speak to the many varied community service activities that John has been in, in, involved in, locally here in the Des Moines vicinity, nor even to the greater leadership role and community support services that he had done in business partnership and in the, lead, in the Chamber of Commerce, both in the state and at the national level. But what I can speak to readily is John's commitment and dedication to the work of the World Food Foundation. In that, his resolve and commitment to sustain the legacy of his father, John Ruan II, and Dr. Norman Borlaug, to the World Food Prize Foundation to help fight hunger in the world through the work of the World Food Prize Foundation. In that, what is most admirable to me is John's absolute resolve and absolute humility in dealing with local, national, and global leaders from around the world uh, in the work of the World Food Prize Foundation, along with the many people who, common folk who support the work of the World Food Prize Foundation. John has been very good to all of us. He treated all of us with respect, and in return, received due respect from everyone else. And so I, I, we owe great gratitude to John for who he was as a person and as a leader in the World Food Prize Foundation. Those are really my, my recollections, both as it, as it relates to the work of the World Food Prize Foundation in my personal relationship with, with him. And as I said, my, my family and, and I I greatly appreciate and are very grateful to the opportunities that we had and the, and the kindness he showed us personally. And we, we feel the same way to him and his family.